you're 60. The retirement account is looking good. You can smell your super awesome retirement is right around the corner. And then you hit a retirement pothole and all of a sudden retirement is a lot farther away. Hi, I'm Antonio Sabella with Vision Wealth Management. We're talking retirement planning today. We're talking retirement potholes. What do I mean when I say that? I mean a single event that can derail someone's retirement or their retirement plan. Uh, major market downturn, uh, a spouse passing away prematurely. Uh, those are examples of things that can happen. Maybe a major medical diagnosis that can completely derail everything if you haven't done some planning in advance for that sort of thing story time with Antonio. So many years ago, uh, before I started working as a financial advisor, I worked at a bank and there was another bank employee. She was a woman who was right around 60 years old and she retired. She was retiring early. It was great. Everything was going to be wonderful. Uh, we had a party for her, the whole thing. And then the dot-com crash happened. Three straight years of down uh, returns in the stock market. And you know what happened? She unretired. She unretired. She came back to work because she had to, because she didn't have a good plan. Uh, so that's the sort of thing that can happen. That's the result of not having a plan in place. Now, I know that going to see a financial advisor is like slightly better than going to see the dentist, but it's something that you gotta do, especially if you're getting really close to retirement. I talk to people all the time who are right there and they've done all of the stuff. They've put the money away, they live within their means, they've paid off their debts, but they don't actually have a plan. They don't have a plan for where they're gonna draw their income, how much they're gonna draw. They don't really understand the risk in their portfolio or their allocation. Uh, so here we go, three things that you've gotta do if you're staring down the barrel at retirement to make sure that you're gonna be kinda on track. Uh, one, figure out how much income you need in retirement. And if that's gonna include money from the portfolio, make sure that your portfolio can sustain the withdrawal rate for 25, 30 years. You should be planning to live in retirement for 25 or 30 years. That's what people are doing nowadays. Uh, and if you don't, mm, probably not a great plan. Uh, two, what's another way that you can plan for retirement? Leaving enough room to grow the income. So you say, hey, I'm gonna retire. I need this much per month. Well, that's gonna go up over time. We know all about inflation, right? Things get more expensive over time, and so you've got to plan accordingly. The same amount of income per year that would get you where you need to be the day you retire is not going to get you where you need to be 20 years later. So you've got to be able to grow that retirement income uh, by taking larger distributions, growing your assets, finding another way to do it so that you can maintain the same cost of living as you go throughout retirement. Uh, and then the third thing that you've got to do uh, is you've got to figure out how much risk you have in your portfolio. I talk to folks all the time who set up their investment accounts, uh, their 401ks, things like that, when they, when they were in their 40s, and they're still investing the same way, and they're 60, 62, 63, 65 years old, and they're like, hey, things are great, because the market's done really well. Uh, meanwhile, they're 100% stock allocated, and they're a couple of years away from retirement, and if we have another major downturn, it's gonna completely derail everything that they think uh, that they're gonna have in retirement. So you gotta see what kind of downside you have in the portfolio right now, and if you need to dial that back because you're investing the same way as you were 20 years ago, it's time to dial it back. Uh, so those are three quick tips. Uh, if you're inclined to do this stuff yourself, you got a, a little bit of homework, uh, go, uh, go through that stuff and see how it would apply to you. If you're not inclined to do this kind of stuff yourself, uh, I know somebody that does it for a living, it's me, uh, feel free to drop me an email, give me a call. Uh, I'm happy to help you get on the right track. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for being here. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you soon.